All right, everyone. Welcome to today's forecast. We will be looking at an upcoming major storm system that could bring a wide range of impacts to the country, including the potential for severe weather and snowstorms, along with the storm system here. We will be breaking down which areas will see what, along with other systems that could potentially be some active weather of the country in the upcoming term as well. However, we'll be focusing on this coming week, and it does look like there's not much other than maybe some activity across the west here, with some heavy rain along the coast, some mountain snow with that as well. But other than that, looking pretty calm across the country this evening. So let's just get right diving into today's forecast. So to start off our forecast, we'll be looking at models here. It does look like it'll be quiet for now, other than maybe some exceptions near the east coast with potentially some rain tomorrow and some snow across the northeast. However, this is all going to be looking to change. However, it will start Monday, although this disturbance will be particularly light. So I'm not expecting too much in the way of impacts, however. But it does look like a little light snow could fall across up the Midwest, which is portions of Minnesota and Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan, with some light rain to the south of that. Now, this will have a paved way for a new system to develop, a, and actually a stronger one, later this week. It does look like starting Wednesday in the south, although technically it will be Tuesday afternoon we'll start to see things kind of pop up in the south. This is going to be in the form of rain, even potentially some storms, so this could even be severe as well, especially if the strongest storm does develop, as, this, as the models have been indicating lately. So it does look like this storm will be starting in the Ohio Valley, although pretty much all of this will be rain. Maybe portions in the northeast could see some wind troop stations, some of this in the form of ice and others in snow. But it does look like other than that, it's going to be mostly rainy, even storm event that could take place across the southern eastern portions of the country. But we will then again look at other models, see what they do have to say about this. But it does look like maybe another storm could try to develop after that in this same week. Friday, though, it does look like this storm could potentially bring some snow to the Midwest and Great Lakes. Maybe some rain on the front edge of the precipitation, especially in the warm side of it. And we will, again, take a look at potential northeast snowstorm, especially in New England, which could, between, which could bring a wide variety of winter precipitation in the form of ice and snow. But other than that, let's go see what other models have to say before we can conclude on one scenario. Now, the Canadian model is saying quite a similar story for this coming week. In fact, same thing here. Canadian, just like the GFS we saw, is showing some light snow across the Midwest and rain to the south of that across much of the south of the country. Again, it is also showing this new system developing across south, although it seems like it's back a little farther west compared to the GFS. And also, it will be a little later than the GFS. However, it does look like the initial stages of this could be in the form of rain and mainly light rain Tuesday afternoon across Texas, before this will begin to strengthen into the storm system that is being well anticipated for next week in the south. This will be Wednesday morning. We'll start to see this come on. And it will eventually be intensified, although I wouldn't be surprised if blue light backside snow does develop across western Texas, maybe eastern New Mexico. And then this storm will take a ride to the northeast, across the Midwest, and into the Great Lakes. This system is showing again some heavy rain storms, potentially severe weather with this kind of setup. A little snow on the north edge of the, of the storm, including portions of Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan, according to this model here. And then the storm will continue east and northeast with some snow again, also building into the northeast, mainly New England, with rain across much of the eastern seaboard. It is showing maybe a little something with this second system after this main storm, however, again, doesn't look like much, just a little flipper, light snow in the Midwest that doesn't really amount to much. But again, this is all definitely something we're going to keep on the lookout for for the next few days. Now, as we look at the snowfall map, we do see that Eero is showing a swath of potentially over a foot of snow it's coming from Kansas, building northward across Nebraska, Iowa, 
then mainly moving eastward from there to Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, portions of southern Canada, and then across the New England region. And this is lasting through the entirety of the storm. So things might also change. This is plenty of time out, and I do definitely expect some kind of change to occur within the models. And it does actually show lighter snow mounts coming as far as eastern New Mexico, and then kind of building northward across the plains, and then mainly shifting the east across the Great Lakes and Southern Canada and the Northeast. So let's just look at a little comparison to see what could be expected with this storm. However, again, I just said there will be probably some major changes to the forecast here. But again, we do have arrows showing a swath of heavy snow coming from Kansas up into upper Midwest, and then mainly coming eastward into southern Canada and the northeast there. The Canadian model is showing lighter snowfall, especially the lighter differences coming from the plains of the Midwest which is a major difference in the snowfall mounds in the lower Missouri Valley including the Nebraska I have Kansas Missouri where they see just a little inch or two of snow although this is mostly coming from the other system so it will unfortunately be pretty much nothing from the Canadian model for that region there while it does actually show the band coming from Missouri, Iowa, some Wisconsin, northern lower Michigan and then again across southern Canada and to northeast. So there's a similarity there after it exits the Great Lakes. GFS also kind of on board with the Canadian model. Again, it has that heavy swath of snow of over a foot into southern Canada and the northeast region, especially across Maine. It does look like some heavy moderate snow could fall across the Great Lakes region with this storm as well, adding up to potentially a few inches. Although, yeah, it does look like it's agreeable that we could potentially be seeing several inches of snow from this storm, especially from the upper Midwest into the Northeast and Maine region, as well as portions of southern Canada. Now, there are some key differences with this, of course, but the takeaway here is there's probably going to be a snowstorm with this, and even the potential for severe weather, which we'll also quickly look at before we conclude our video forecast for this. So with regards to severe weather, we'll be looking at instability which could potentially dictate where we could see severe weather with this upcoming storm. It does look like we'll start to see some of that across southeast Texas Tuesday during the day and even some of it into the night. And this will really start to build in of course, although it doesn't look like a lot though. It does look like some of it could be near the Gulf Coast and push into the south Wednesday during the day. It is trying to push some kind of severe setup in the Midwest, particularly Illinois and surrounding places. However, it does it's just low confidence at this time. However, this is really something to keep on. And even then, there is still the potential for severe weather to develop as far as places like the Ohio Valley even. This is just a given estimate of where we could potentially see some severe weather with this upcoming storm. However, again, there's going to be lots of uncertainty, so this zone is bound to change really quickly. And we will continually monitor all this as the time moves on. So I hope you enjoyed today's forecast. Please do consider that subscribe button if you found this information useful and helpful for your coming future plans. And stay safe, everyone. Have a good night. We're going to be tuning on to this, so keep updated.